own striking that captured the attention of fans everywhere. Mm. Oh, gosh. Okay, hold up. Dearly Father, pray for this man's brain health while he is asleep in a coma for the next 10 years, because that looked like it hurt like a mother. All right. What's good, everybody? Welcome back. Thanks for clicking on the video. Hope you guys are having a great day. As you can see by the title, we got Mr. John Jones Bones. Uh, someone who's been requesting John Jones, the greatest UFC fighter in history. I don't want to hear it. No if and buts about it. John Jones is the man. Um, I'm excited for this original board film documentary. I'm excited to see his background and all that stuff. Also, there was big beef with him and uh, Daniel Cormier, if I can say that right. So um, if you guys want to see like the beef between all that, I'll definitely react to it. Uh, I love UFC fighters. I wish I had my beautiful wife right here with me, but I don't. Um, trying to get her into the UFC. She's not a big fan of beating people's face in, but I am. <laughs> um, but hope you guys are having a great day. Good morning, good afternoon, good afternoon, good evening, good night. We're back. We're almost at 4,000 subscribers. You guys are killing it, showing a lot of love. Obviously, the Oliver Anthony is trending right now, so that's giving me a lot of love. If you haven't seen that video, go check it out. I'll put it right up here. Um, but yeah, you guys ready? We're going to hop right into this bad boy. I'm not going to do this. You know, that's the dual cam. We'll stick to this. We're going to do, uh, this is going to be a two-part series. Uh, it's 34 minutes. I'm not going to sit here. I'm going to go crazy for 34 minutes. Um, so I'll do probably about 15 minutes and then the rest. So let's do it. This is the reason I started watching UFC because he was larger than life. He was so dominant. He came out very low, almost yeah. crawling at him. Get up. And, and he's going to do that again. Yeah. Just for a second. Mm. So, yeah. wow, what a powerful leg kick that was. John Bones Jones. Oh my gosh. Right into it. Oh, he's out. Considered by many to be the greatest fighter to ever do it. Facts. He's got a choke. Trying to choke him out. He's right here. Yoda's Knocking him out on his feet? Oh no, that's disrespectful. He is out. Oh, he's eating the mat. Chokes Leota Machida completely unconscious. Bones. Jones. Shout out to Joseph Vincent. John was an elite wrestler and went on to become a national JUCO champion. But I dedicated my life to to wrestling wholeheartedly. When his girlfriend got pregnant, John faced a difficult decision. Suddenly, I have a kid on the way. And uh, suddenly, my full scholarship to Iowa State was not there anymore. He left college, walked into Bro, the that even look like MMA gym, and began his journey into mixed martial arts. The very first day that he trained mixed martial arts, he did, everybody in the gym was like, this guy is now. Working as a bouncer while trying to support a new family, mm. Jones couldn't waste any time. Gosh. Imagine getting leg kicked after that. He scheduled Ooh. his first professional fight. I had been training for about two months, and uh, I took my first fight. Well, Mark, we've got some light heavyweight action. The pro debuting John Jones fighting out of the bomb squad. we got some big boys tonight. Let's see what happens here. And Johnny Jones, a kickboxer and a wrestler, big fan of Anderson Silva. He won in less than two minutes. Sheesh. Jones with us. He just Kurt angled his ass. <laughs> he threw him over. <laughs> he angle slammed his ass. No flex. <laughs> Last picks. He flipped him over. God. Left hands down on Pure the dominance. Oh. Bernard is out. A first round TKO by John Jones. Gosh. Just like that. Where are you going? Want to know? And John has two brothers that are elite NFL athletes. Pro ball. I mean, bro, he comes from what? I did not know genetics. that. I had no talent with the ball, you know. So they had me a defensive line next to Arthur, a guy who's big and fit to be a defensive lineman. And I'm just skinny and next to him, and that's <laughs> I have a nickname Bones. And Jones fought his second fight just one week after his first. 
Oh, out. Oh, that's it. Oh, he's out. Oh, he's out. And he ate a left. God. He rattled off win after win. One week? Fighting six times in 12 weeks. I made it to the UFC after only nine months. In, in Bro, the that is working. So, I mean, which is really unheard of. Yeah. It was immediately clear. Johnny Bones was one of the most unique athletes to ever enter the fight game. Tastes like butthole, bro. Let Not that I've ever had that. But... And here we go. At 21 years old, Ugh. he made his UFC debut. Throw a spinning back kick. All right, somewhere in the middle of what I thought. Gosh, he is throwing grown men around. Ooh. He's just taking him to Goose Mouth. Switched and brought the left knee. Johnny Bones! Nice. Bones. The victory brought a realization for John that he was able to compete at the highest level. Realization for John that he. If you know, you know. He was able to compete at the highest levels in MMA. Dude is 10 years older than him. Guy, John Jones, he's, uh, he's, uh, he's like a wrestler, but he's really skinny, he's young, he's great. Sorry. And I'm like, oh man, I'll, I'll fight that skinny bitch, John Jones. Yeah, probably made the wrong decision on that one. <laughs> there it is, that's what oh. I'm talking about. John's wrestling experience is obvious in his takedown. My gosh. Often brutal and theatrical. Wrestling, jiu-jitsu, Muay Thai, athletic, young suplex. My gosh. American. But it is Jones striking that captured the attention of fans everywhere. Mm. Oh, gosh. Okay, hold up. Dear Holy Father, pray for this man's brain health while he is asleep in a coma for the next 10 years because that looked like it hurt like a mother. All right. That spinning back elbow... Look at this dude. He is gone. He just pissed himself. He doesn't know what he ate for dinner last night. And he is medically retiring from the sport. Ow. Oh, gosh. That, that first round, sitting on my stool, I'm like, this guy is Good. <laughs> he displays remarkable creativity. He's got grappling and striking, bro. It's just a double whammy. Oh, another one. Oh, another one. Oh, fuck. Oh, he's done. Throw in the towel. This journey that I'm on can go as far as I take it. And him. Only I can mess it up. In his 10th pro fight. Bro, what's bro? Holy, um, almost threw up there. Um, this is what separates him. I'm just gonna stand it. I'm just gonna say it. Like that reach it, that eight eight inch reach advantage, bro. That just separates him. Like nobody's Jones. No. First hint of and he's three inches taller surface. from this guy. He's just asking to get a can, open a can. All right, he what is he doing? Demolished Matt Hamill. However. A series of illegal elbows earned him a DQ. Nice trip. There's some Greco. His timing is so good. Now, is there a part of you that feels like you never lost, even though you had the one disqualification? Oh. Well, John is completely undefeated. Yeah. He only has that one loss to Matt Hamill, which is a disqualification in a fight where he was totally dominant. In. Big elbows. No, you can't do 12 to 6. Stand up. The up to down elbow from 12 o'clock to 6 o'clock is. <laughs> oh my gosh. I can see why my wife doesn't like watching this. Obviously, that's why it's illegal. Bro is taking elbows with the. Oh gosh, bro. His skull just went inside two inches. His nose is now broken. He's smelling out of his mouth. He is just. Bro. Ow! Illegal. So you make an honest mistake. Yeah, obviously it's a, it's a bloodbath. Crash and burn. Due to intentional elbows, there's been a disqualification of Johnny Bones Jones. Therefore, the winner is Matt Hamill. It, uh, I don't, I don't beat myself up about it. You know, now I know the rules, and you would never see me going out that way ever again. He amped up his training. 
Okay, that lion effect did not need to go there. And I trained in Albuquerque, New Mexico at high elevation. I trained at 6,000 feet above sea level. He's got crazy long legs, bro. It's not oh. often that guys like this come along. You know, not at all. John Jones, there's not a lot of them around. Not gonna lie. I didn't know he was 6'4". That's really not that big, to be honest with you. He's just bigger than his than people he fights. In his first fight back from the controversial loss, Jones made a statement. Manhandled him. Uh. I love John. Gosh, Jones, he's the best I've ever seen. He's the best in the world. Man. He's done. Yeah, he's not fighting back. Herb Dean! Gosh. That one elbow. He's a serious, serious talent. Hey, I, I, I got to give him props, man. Sorry for pausing. I'm going to stop pausing for a while. But my man won the fight. Dominated the fight, and the first thing he did when he won, he celebrated. He thought he thanked God. I mean, come on, man. Uh, Seems like a good guy to me. There's got to be some backstories why people hate him. He's but so big, he's a young guy. He's, he's only going to get better, and he's very motivated and very smart. The Ultimate Fighter Season Eight winner. He's still got a freaking six-inch reach advantage. Is crazy. Oh, he's thirteen and zero. Okay. Who will truly become the next big thing? Will it be Bader or will it be Jones? Bader. This is his first name, Master. Next up. Okay. A fight to determine who would contend for the title against Shogun. Oh my gosh. High kick by Jones. Constant offensive assault. Looking for the shot. Stop. Ooh. Catching Good defense. Fighters off guard with moves no one else was willing to try. I've never seen that. About 84 inch reach on his arms is he can get his fingers together when most people can't. Yeah, he went right oh, straight. He's out. Here. Ow. Ow. Tightened it right up, twisted it. Oh, he got it. all over. John Jones. Jones out. Ryan Bader. Wow. John Ramos. Jones' first fight in the UFC at, for a title. He's fighting Mauricio <laughs> Shogun Hua. He's got another eight inch reach in my life. If I wasn't meant to be here, I wouldn't be here. Of the world. Shogun. And Jones. Shogun. That's such a cool name. For the light heavyweight title. He's out. He's already got it. Oh. The Shogun was a legend of UFC. Shogun trying to get back to the feet, but he's giving up his back in the process. Mmm. Mmm. Shogun turned. He's hurt, Mike. He's, he's in a diaper, bro. He's literally wearing a diaper. He's brutalized the defending champion. Oh. Another side kick to the knee. Just... Just manhandling him. So forceful that teeth to the face. Oh, fuck. have you ever been kicked in the leg? Spinning elbows. All right, sorry. I'm gonna, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna be a pause maniac, bro. Getting kicked in the shin is equivalent to walking into the back of a truck trailer hitch. <laughs> Not gonna lie to you, both of those suck. And kicks, especially from John Jones. Oh, is a nightmare. He's a punching bag. Relentless. Two piece. Sprite. The title win made Jones the youngest champion in UFC history. Ooh. Ow. Just destroyed him. Gosh. Is that the Joker? And it wasn't even a struggle. A new UFC 
Johnny Bones Jones. are about deadlift, not, not gonna lie, pretty tough. Oh, with resistant bands? Okay. Hmm. He's a freak, man. He's a real freak. He, he most definitely is. It's crazy to watch him train because he just super lasered in and focused. Oh, first, first title, shoot. He took Rampage Jackson. Like the octagon. Let's go. Rampage Jackson. One of the most intimidating fighters ever. Oh, he's starting to, he's starting he's to walk the out. Ever at controlling distance. He does the finger at the finger range. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, pokey. <laughs> the pokey range. Oh. There's that spinning up the elbow. Just like against Shogun. Perfectly timed. Rampage had never been stopped in his historic career. Mm. Oh. Oh. Just picking him apart, man. You know, chokes out Rampage. Chokes out. He just smashed everybody. Done. Did you just kiss him on the forehead? Oh, he sunned him. Rampage has not been stopped in the octagon. That's Out. What Jones wants to be the first man in the UFC to stop Quentin Rampage Jack. Out. John Jones has defended his UFC. Sheesh. Iconic right there. Against Rashad Evans, Jones was pitted against one of his longtime friends and training partners. Rashad! 5'11 versus 6'4. Right Tough. Ready. Is he doing? Ready. Is he starting to walk? Oh, he hasn't done the walkout yet. Go. Little like he walks out like a like an animal. So far, John is controlling the center of the octagon. Head oh. kick by Rashad. Big head kick by Rashad Evans. Jones might be in trouble. I felt like this was a pioneering performance with arranged elbows from John Jones. Mm. Find the kisser. Oh my dude, that is so quick, bro. Sorry for keep pausing it, but gosh, you don't even have time to react. Look at this. Oh my gosh. Closing in his Jones used his elbows to devastating effect. But Rashad Evans, there was no way he could have trained for this kind of offensive. No one in Rashad Evans' gym is gonna be fighting like John Jones in this range, stepping in with elbows Ooh. over the top. Ooh. Just the long limbs, it's the way he delivers. <laughs> and a big bro, I see why he's one of the greatest fighters John ever, bro. John Jones has defended his wow. Against another wow. UFC light heavyweight champion. Amazing. Victor Belfort. Oh. An old school UFC, man. I wish I would have got into it Bell back then. Got hold of Jones' arm, hyper extending it in a perfect arm bar. Even though Vitor almost snapped that arm in half, that was crazy. Oh, arm bar! He's got it! He is cash it right here! Vitor Belfort! Jones allowed his arm to pop out of socket. You what an animal John is. That yeah. He didn't tap. He just let his arm get jacked. And he might have popped his arm. We don't know how. John's arm is right now. And then wound up tapping Vitor the next round. Mm. It's, it's amazing when you consider the fact that this kid didn't grow up with a striking background. It's crazy. Yeah, John is he's not just talented. Side kick to the body. He heard oh, him. yeah, he's he out. Heard him. He, heard him. <laughs> he folded. Now the axe kicked the same way. Now it's good for Belfort. This guy's trying to get him in a mounted crucifix. He just needs to secure the right arm. He mounted crucifix. He Ooh. submitted Belfort. Now he's going for a Kimura. Out. Oh. Oh. Gosh, man. Good job, bro. He's yeah. just got incredible uh, his ability to overcome. Hey, quit with those sound effects. 
Let's go, Chael, Chael Sonnen. Love that. Chael, American go. gangster. He's so comfortable in world championship fights. He's had nothing but world championship That's fights. That's all he knows. Yeah. Main event, and you're like, holy shit, this is the big one. John's like, this is a fight. It's Another day in like the office. Beating, just beating him. Oh, you have to be so much better to beat them. Fame and celebrity are powerful drugs. I had this crazy thing that I would do where I would party one week before every fight. And I did it throughout yep, my whole career. I remember that. I party with John. But when he was partying, I would see him at the bar in Ithaca. And it would be like a couple weeks before his fight. This guy would be out there. Sh shots and I was winning and, and it was starting to feel effortless. As Bones rose to the highest levels of his sport, his focus waned. We saw that in the Gustafson fight. I mean, he wasn't in shape for that fight at all. Yeah. He, they said he was barely training. I did a lot of wild stuff leading up to the fight. I definitely didn't give him my Gustafs. own. As far as partying and yeah, not man, sleeping. Oh, the right. one-handed cartwheel. Really I forgot about that, too. Drinking, staying up all night. Wasn't well, the iPhone, too? You asked me earlier, Joe, is anybody else perfect with their takedown defense? And yes, that man, John Jones, the champion stopped all 16 of his opponent's takedown attempts. In what Ooh. turned out to be the fight of the year, Jones took on Swedish fighter Alexander Gustafsson. With the takedown. First, take down first the time first in the time UFC. Wow. Incredible. First takedown. And there's a nasty elbow by John. Oh, that's so right clean. Right at the end of the round. Get some of that off. Get have to take some of that off. He's having toe for dinner. Gustafson with the right again. Caught him with that one. The fight continued to go back and forth. Just past mm. the midway point of this championship. Come with a thumb. He thumbed him. That kick was hard, Mike. Hmm. <laughs> Kind of got him with his shoulder there. Wow. We're going at it. Hmm. That spitting elbow is nice. Ooh. He's just a natural born fighter. He just knows how to fight. Oh, yeah. I know this fight was lit too. Jones won the unanimous decision. Big head kick. So Gustafson just ate it. Yep. Unbelievable. What a fight. Mm, wow. That might be the greatest title fight in the history of the light heavyweight division. By unanimous decision. And still. Nice. I knew he wins because I know his record, but. Wow. Super fight against undefeated. Oh, yes. Daniel Cormier. Cormier, Cormier, however you say it. I'm going to pause it right there. We're going to save that for part two. Getting right into the juicy stuff. Man, it was interesting to see his uh, his uprise. You know, obviously wrestling was a strong key in him, but I didn't know he didn't have any striking background. So that spinning elbow, whoever, whoever was his striking coach, you did it. You did your job, buddy. You got paid. Um, you got, was it? Boardman gets paid. Um, but... Crazy John Jones, man. Greatest uh, UFC fighter ever. No if and buts about it. Um, speaking of those leg kicks, man. I watched UFC uh, two weekends ago. Uh, 292, I believe. Um, with Ian Gary. Bro. My new favorite fighter. I don't care. He's like a he's like a newer Conor McGregor. He's from Ireland. Um, but his leg kicks against uh, Neil, bro. Gosh. He tore his leg up, man. He was very entertaining to watch. Flipping him the bird, man. Just a pure entertainer. So, um yeah, I hope you guys like this uh, part one of John Jones. Uh, part two coming out sometime this week. Uh, my wife will be done working uh, the ne uh, tomorrow, so um, stay tuned for the John Morant. That vi that video is coming out as well as um, had something else coming out. I can't think of it right now, but uh, John Morant will be out soon. 
Um, but thank you guys for watching the video. Like the video. Uh, subscribe. If you are shorter than me, I'm seven foot. Everybody below me. Blow me. Okay, bro, that sounded bad. Pause. Um, seven foot. Anybody below that, you should subscribe uh, if you enjoy the content. And we will catch you guys in the next video. Later. What was that?